Hello once again, this is Eric with Master Tool Repair. Today we're going to uh, basically go through uh, see pilot valves and how to uh, choose a pilot valve, the right pilot valve for your gas compressor. And what we have here is a very popular style of uh, pilot unloader valve. Now this particular one is a pilot check and unloader valve. It's a combination valve and it does have a built-in check valve to, uh, so as to you know not uh, so as to prevent back pressure essentially to the pumping. All right, what we have here, a few things you need to look for. Uh, right here, this uh, particular model has a half inch male compression inlet. And it'll notate here, you'll see that on the pilot valve, it'll state in, and of course, out on your outlet. Your pilot valve may not have an inlet, or it may not have a uh, place for your transfer tube to install into. Uh, this is simply a different type of pilot valve, which your transfer tube will again install into the inlet of this particular pilot valve. Now here with the outlet, um, this is a half inch female thread, which will typically thread directly into the tank onto a pipe nipple to your tank. Here right in front is a discharge port with a screen. Of course, this will discharge the pressure while the compressor is idling, so as to not fill the tank. And all pilot on motor valves will have this particular function. Here on the left side, notice a small eighth inch uh, or quarter inch female pipe. That is for the throttle idle control cable uh, routing to the engine throttle plate which of course you know kicks the engine down and up. So you'll attach it via adapter to this small eighth inch port here on the side. And up top we have our unloader. It's right here, of course, in the vertical position. Uh, it unloads the pump, and when flipped down to this position, it loads the pump so it can pressurize. And essentially that's how to choose the uh, right pilot valve. And this is a very popular style. Again, yours may appear differently than this, but these are the basic functions. And essentially, uh, the last specification you need to know is the pressure setting. This is uh, cut in at 95 PSI and cuts out at 125 PSI. So after it hits 125 PSI, and the compressor will kick down, and it will kick back in at 95 PSI. So that's another spec you need to know. Thank you very much for watching.